I'm at the V4 Tesla Supercharger in Cromwell, Connecticut, and I'm waiting for Brandy to come with the Rivian R1T. We're gonna try charging it here for the first time. Now these V4s have built-in magic docks, so you don't even need an adapter if you have a Rivian. And they're plug-in charge with Rivian, so you just need to plug it in. It'll take your credit card from the Rivian app and automatically charge. Here she comes. Now with these V4s, the cable's long enough that you don't even need to get that close to the charging stall and you're not gonna have to block the one next to you anymore. Okay, you know how to do it, right? Yes, that one. So the button on the handle, I'll push it and then you should pull the whole magic dock out. Hold it. Push and hold the button. And now pull. Push up and then pull out. Ah, you got it. Okay, now put down your little flap. The little, the flap on the bottom of the charger. DC, the DC port. There you go. Nice. Okay, it's charging. Plug and charge. Now you could also use the Tesla app to initiate the charge. You're still gonna have to push the button and push up on the magic dock to release it. Okay, so I'm gonna set the charge to 80%. Come on. And let's see how long this takes. Okay, so we charged from 47 to 80% in about 26 minutes. According to Tesla, I added 110 miles estimated range in 25 minutes. Now Rivian passes the charging fees over to Tesla and then they send you an invoice by email within a few minutes. And the cost for the charge test was $24.75 at 51 cents per kilowatt hour. When you're done with the Magic Talk, you simply insert it back into the supercharger and it locks in place. Now, if this was a V3 supercharger, you could use your own NACS adapter, but I know some people don't have that yet. Now, you can find Magic Dock locations by filtering in the Rivian Nav for charger locations that do not require an adapter. Pretty high state of charge to come in at, but if we were road tripping, we would come in at 20 or 30 percent. I'm gonna charge to 80, adding like over 150 miles. There you go, so there's the Rivian R1T charging on a Tesla V4 supercharger. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products. And if you are planning on buying a Rivian, use my referral code below to save big on Rivian vehicles and accessories in the gear shop.